we just got word of a, I don't know what it is, I guess land creature or under, underground creature heading this way. Okay. Carl, isn't that... What on earth? That's the creature we were talking about earlier. Okay, you guys. I suggest we roll on. Um, I am not running from an oversized dinosaur. Well, then I suggest you are crazy. How am I crazy? There's a dinosaur in front of you. When there's a dinosaur in front of you, you run. It's not that terrifying. It's not that scary. How is it not that scary? I've seen worse titans. <laughs> And of course, he's at it again. Okay, I've never seen a dinosaur able to do that before. like a kangaroo now all of a sudden. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's good. What, that has a kangaroo kick? Okay, clearly Godzilla and that thing are friends. Well, I guess that's a good thing, isn't it? I mean, if it's friends with Godzilla, that's a good thing. But if it's not friends with Kong, I don't know if I consider that a good thing or a bad thing. Well, since we've just seen the two of them fight, I suggest they're not friends. Kong's not really a fan of dinosaurs, though. And that alone is worrisome, if we're going to have a dinosaur on our side. Okay, now what's going to happen? Well, we have a dinosaur on our side, so that's a plus. How do you know it's really on our side? It's friends with Godzilla. That doesn't mean that's on our side. Godzilla's on our side. That doesn't mean anything. If Godzilla's on our side, this thing's going to be on our side. So that's a plus. A few 
say so. I mean, it does look like the dinosaur that you two raised, so. If you say so. That's your answer to everything. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I just don't remember raising a dinosaur. It, I mean, it makes sense that you don't remember, considering it was a long time ago. And it's standing right behind me, isn't it? If you want to say that, yeah. I don't even know if Belial's gonna stand a chance against this thing, Godzilla, Kong, and Gamera. <laughs> Plus, I mean... <laughs> I mean... Maybe we can get the other titans on our side too, like Angiris, Rodan, maybe Mothra. Uh, yeah, that thing's gonna be fun having around. Well, we'll see what happens. Plus, I mean, if Godzilla's friends with it, at least we have nothing to worry about. I mean, if Fully can keep Godzilla in check, that is. Godzilla, nobody can keep Godzilla in check. Godzilla is Godzilla. I mean... And for you to even suggest a thing, it's just outrageous. I mean, he hasn't killed any of us yet. Probably because you told him not to kill any of us. Well. I mean, the sooner we get Ghidorah out of the picture, the sooner we can get to Belial. What are your thoughts, Kyan? Honestly, if Godzilla needs to build an army of his own to match Belial's army, then I guess let him do it, but I'm more worried about my grandfather being a part of all this. That's what's scaring me. Or the reasons why he's a part of it in the first place is something we should think about. Not only that, he's teaming up with Zira, Scar's wife. Yeah, but what if... What if they try to bring Scar back once again? They would need my roar for that, and there's no way they're getting my roar this time. They may have gotten lucky last time, but this time I'm going to keep a better guard. I mean, you are the one who brought Scar back last time. Um, sorry, sir. Can you not remind me of that mistake? Um, as you wish, sir. As you wish, sir. Look at that. I think you need a nap, Carl. You think? He's getting tongue-tied already. I think he's just getting tired of everything already. I mean, he hasn't really been fighting much compared to the Lion Guard, so. Well, maybe you need to give him a specific job. A specific job, huh? Tails? Yes? I need you to build a Titan fighting robot for Carl to drive around. Yes, sir. Might need the robot if we're gonna beat Belial. Well, you need to come up. We need to come up with the plan. Honestly, 
I'm a little too stressed out to think at the moment, considering my grandfather of all people is helping Zira and Belial. Well, Eggman and Ishari too, but that's besides the point. Hmm. The thing Eggman even works for Belial in the first place. Uh, did I miss anything? I was asleep for a while, wasn't I? You could have been. Yes, you were. Ugh. Oh, I told you not to smack me that hard. Excuse you, I didn't smack you, Jesse did. Oh, yeah. Really, Jesse? Well, I only know how to smack one way. You didn't have to smack me that hard. Only I know how to smack somebody. How else would you get him to... Why did you smack me in the first place? Knock him out. Why'd you smack me in the first place? I did nothing. Oh, uh -huh. you said something totally and Ellie stupid. And that was... And I'll do it again if you repeat what you said. I don't even know what I said. Hmm. I guess it worked. What? I accept your apology. Was it about the dinosaur thing? You excuse me, I'm going to go to the cave and see what's going on. Cave or Pride Rock? I just got a bad feeling about this. You had the scar nightmare again, didn't you? I'll take that as a yes. Uh, how often does Kion have the scar nightmares? Not as much as he used to. He still has them pretty often, doesn't he? Ask him, he's right there. You're, her, you're his wife, so you would know, too. And he's standing right there. If you want to ask him, ask him. He's right there in front of you. Ugh. I'm going to go take another nap. He knows he could have just walked to the den, right? He knows, but he's also just a toy. Not very bright. Uh, you're standing next to a toy also. Here's you a very bright toy. Thank you very much. Hey, she said it, not me. Oh my goodness gracious, you too. So now what's going to happen? Hmm. Well, I guess... So I guess, if anything, I'm going to go have to face my grandfather at some point. Not necessarily. It's my grandfather, so yep, I'm going to be the one who has to bring him down. I thought your father was. You really think my, my father can fight in the condition he's in? There's nothing wrong with your father. He's just aging. He hasn't fought anybody in years since the whole Scar incident. Years well, ago. he can train. He still knows how to fight. It's not like something you lose. Well, I mean, yeah, but still. You have to give them a bit more credit on what you're giving them. Yeah, well, I just don't want him hurt. I don't want him and end up like Bagheera, so. I think your father knows what he's doing. 
Don't you remember what happened to Bakira? Not allowing that to happen again. Makira is just very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Unexperienced. Okay, yeah, unexperienced. He couldn't even be He it. doesn't pay attention. Your father does. Okay, here's the thing. It's not me that's gonna be worried about him when he, if he does fight my grandfather. My mom, on the other hand, yeah. We're not even gonna go there. Have you talked to your parents about it? I've have talked to my dad about it, but he seems like he wants to fight TJ. I don't know why, but. Mm. You know how worried my mother gets. Yes, I do, and it's perfectly understandable. She has a right to wonder. Plus that, Zira's gonna have a grudge against me since I'm the one who did the finishing blow on Scar in the, a few years ago. <sighs> Don't you just wish all the fighting would just end and never ever happen again? Yeah, well, Zira started this war, so... Well, Zero and Belial. TJ is just in the middle of it. Exactly. Why? What's in it for him? Besides revenge against your father. And my mother. This... This would seem like a father would want to hurt his daughter that way. Yeah, well, you don't know TJ like I do. I guess you're right. But he knows him even a little, it would be you. Yeah, our last encounter didn't go very well. But still, I mean... The whole thing to me is just crazy beyond crazy. Sometimes I wish Mufasa was here, otherwise Mufasa could handle TJ. Oh, my father handles Zira. Isn't TJ before your grandfather's fine? Well. Or after, I should say. TJ was around since Mufasa was, so. Yeah, but he was just a baby. Actually, they're the same age. That would mean your mom is really, really old. Her and my father are the same age, so. Yes, and her father is TJ. Yes, but let me finish. Your mom and her and your dad are the same age. Uh huh. So TJ and your grandfather would have to be the same age. Mm hmm. Which, if they were the same age, then. Wait a minute, let me think about that. Never mind then. Yeah, the ages are just really confusing to me for some reason. Never mind, you're right. Mufasa and AJ. TJ. TJ, whatever, would be the same age. So actually, he's a little too old to be fighting. Well, then that's gonna stop him from fighting. No. I'm just saying. We're not even going to talk about the huge age gap between Zero and Scar. We're just not, no. Why are we even talking about them at all? Because they're the ones who end this war with Belial. I don't know if you can exactly call it a war. It's more like a... Well, the start of a war, considering Belial's going to be a while to bring down. But, now that I think about it... If we get TJ and Zero out of the way first, then we can focus on Belial making his monster army drop to the ground. I don't know, it's been a little too quiet lately. I don't know what Belial's planning, but I don't think I'll like it very much. You haven't heard anything from your grandfather, have you? Nope, I have not. What about your mom? 
she's been very quiet lately. Ever since we mentioned Spyro's disappearance years ago, she's been very quiet. Hmm. I wonder why. Does she think her dad had something to do with the disappearance? I mean, just think about it fully. Spyro was our greatest ally in the last war. And all of a sudden he just vanishes? Hmm. Mothra hasn't been seen either. Neither has Ultraman or any of our other allies. Sure. They haven't been seen. I mean, we could ask either Scarlet Witch or Doctor Strange to see if he can get any traces of life forms from Spyro or the others, but. Really, what good would that do? I mean, just wouldn't do very good at all. You really think five of us against a whole army is going to do any good either? I just think that it's it's going to come to a big old end and we're just not going to be the winners this time. Don't lose hope yet. Well, it's kind of hard not to when you get all these creatures coming to the Pride Lands. Because we keep letting our guard down. We should have built a wall around it. I don't think a wall is going to keep those things out. Especially creatures like Gaigan and Ghidorah, Biolante, Destroya, etc. But don't you see, if you build a wall around it, uh -huh, then there would be perimeters. So they would know there's just some parts of the Pridelands they cannot enter. A good chunk of them can just fly over. Yeah, but that's telling them this is off limits. They can't go there. It's. You really think that's going to work? It could. No. No. You don't know for sure. If those things are mind controlled by Belial, then they're not even going to care. Well, you don't know that for sure. You didn't go toe to toe with Belial like I did. Well, not that much. I don't know, maybe we should just leave it to your father and just move, just leave, just get away from here. It's not going to happen. Why? You're just tired of all the fighting? Well, it's our job to defend anything around the Pride Lands. No, our job is to protect and defend our child. And the Pride Lands. That's my job as king right now. Well, our son should be the number one priority, and this is not a good environment for him. I've talked to my father about that. And? He said he's going to make sure there's going to keep a close guard on him. But it's not his job. It's our job, not his. He understands what my main priority is to getting rid of Belial. That should be the second. The first should be you watching, taking, and protecting our son. Instead of worrying about who's fighting all the time. It's my job as king. My so father. Your priority stink. Hey, not my fault. I just listen to what my father told me. I remember a time where you used to not listen to your father. That never exact. That never happened at all. Well, maybe I when I was younger. Okay, yeah, I see your point. But still, I mean, my father always has Timon and Pumbaa watch uh, Kiara when he was busy, so. Don't say why that's any different than now. Because we keep getting attacked every hour on the hour. I guess I'll go take a nap until the next one hits. Someone's moody. <clears throat> Don't do that. Bang. 
Uh. Sir, who do you want us to send to watch after your son when he goes to play today? Send to Mommy Pumba. Yes, sir. All right, all right, you can help. Reporting for duty, sir. Kong reporting for duty. <laughs> That's good. Uh, that's funny. Don't laugh at him, he makes a man. I'm not laughing at him, I'm just laughing at what you said. The way you said it made me laugh. Fool is moody. Again. Well, you can't exactly blame her for not being stressed out. Hey, I'm stressed out too. Well, you don't see me moody about it. Excuse me, you were moody. Like, last week, last month, you were very moody. Everybody thought you were going to turn evil because you were so moody. Ugh, that's been the meat sweets fight. So don't get on her case when you do the same thing. Hey, unlike her, I try to control my anger. Well, you don't do a very good job of it. It's kind of hard not to control your anger when someone who's supposed to be your family, you know, is just trying to kill you. Or maybe he's not exactly your grandfather. He is my grandfather. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Bo? Mm. Yeah. What is that thing? That thing. That little green thing right next to Kong? That's Kong's friend. I didn't know he had friends. Of course he does. He is a genius. Probably not as smart as Tails. Dangerous coming it is. Okay, he can talk. And so can you. What danger exactly? Very big danger is coming to this. What danger? Danger is danger, don't you think? It doesn't matter what kind of danger. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Big danger. Out of this world danger it is. How big? Bigger than the universe, if it all goes up, it'll go up in smoke. A three-headed danger. I don't foresee who is coming, I just know that something is coming. And it is a bad force, it is. A very bad force. Is it powerful? You have, hmm, let's see. Exactly a week left to live, you do. Go warn fully right now, though. Nice. Is there any way to stop this so called danger? I am not sure. But you have all kinds of people here, is this should be help? I know if a bomb goes off, it will not. A bomb? It would be a big bomb, a big explosion, it will. It will be the good against the bad. I highly doubt it's going to be a bomb, but I do feel like it's going to be an army. But it's not the same thing a bomb in a zombie. If they have guns and they go poof, then the world will explode. Godzilla might be another Godzilla. I wouldn't make him angry if I were you. 
They duplicated him once, they might do it again. Godzilla can, cons uh, can survive a bomb explosion. These are the accordions to when they will be here. This is the time. I need you to work with Tails in order to get the right coordinates. I do not work with anybody, no I don't. I work with myself, by myself, and for myself. Yes, I do not know you. You are a different color than I am. I cannot be... <laughs> I cannot be sure if you are the right force or not. You might be the wrong force. The bad force. I cannot be with you if you fight. I don't think the force is with you. <laughs> to be continued. 